Barbie is more than just a doll. She is a person with her own worldview, plans, and hobbies. In this video, Barbie and Ken will have a magnificent wedding and we will tell you how to organize the whole thing. Breaking news! Ken and Barbie are finally getting married and that means it's time to start preparing for the celebration and make a wedding outfit. And to start, take several patches of tulle of different lengths. Put them on top of each other with an incline and carefully sew them together along the top edge. Now pull the tool a bit and take a small piece of elastic. Sew it in a ring to the place of the tie. Cover it with decorative flowers. Glue strips of rhinestones to the free edges of tool. Put the accessory on your Barbie and don't forget her garter. She's so beautiful! It's impossible to look at her without crying tears of joy. For the next idea, take a few patches of fabric with double-sided sequins. Cut pieces like these out of them. Fold a couple of parts face to face and sew them together around the edge, leaving a hole on top. Do the same with the second part. Sew it from the other side. Now take a shred of lacquered fabric. Roll it with the front side inwards and sew it. Turn it inside out. Make one more roll. These will be the sleeves. Sew the lacquer collar from the inside and bend it out. Try the jacket on the groom. Of course, the bride says yes. Who could resist such a handsome man? For the next idea, take a handful of clothespins, binder clips, and wooden sticks. Combine the clothespins like this. Make two identical snakes and connect them using a glue gun to make an arch. Next, you will need four wooden sticks. Connect them in pairs and attach a binder clip at the end of each. Put the sticks on the ends of the arch. And now take a brush and paint and decorate the arch. Next, take the satin ribbon and unwind it into strings. Glue the resulting fringe along the entire length of the arch. Decorate the joints with pom-poms. And to make the design shiny, add a ribbon with rhinestones. A union that happens under these decorations is simply bound to succeed. And now take a pack of sparklers. Cut one into pieces and separate the pieces of fuse. Form a small stick. Give a light to every wedding guest. Let them light up at the best moment. Congratulations to the newlyweds! Next, we'll tell you what can be made out of a pair of plastic pipettes. Cut off pieces like this. Hot glue them together at an angle. Paint the design black. Decorate one part with rhinestones. Glue the tip of a pen to the edge of the other. Stick a button to the place of the joint and a spool of thread on top. Just put the sewing machine on the stand and just choose the best place in the apartment so that it is light and comfortable. Who is first in line for sewing? And now take the body from an old doll and colorful self-adhesive fabric. Cut part of the body like this using a utility knife. Cover it with fabric. Next, take a jar of modeling clay and a wooden stick. Get the clay out of the jar and make a hole in the center of the bottom. Insert the stick into it and secure it with clay. Close the jar. Hot glue the mannequin to the stick. Decorate the cabinet with a golden braid. Also decorate the mannequin with it. Everything is ready for perfect fittings. Oh right, I completely forgot about the dress. Now everything is ready. For the next idea, you will need a skein of thick threads and sewing pins. Squeeze out a little liquid pearl paint on a small piece of paper. Dip the heads of the pins in it. 
When the paint is dry, stack the needles in pairs crosswise and wrap them with threads like this. Next, cut off the bottom of a plastic cup. Take a piece of twine, turn the bottom of the plastic cup upside down, put a drop of glue in the middle, and secure the end of the thread. Glue the twine in a spiral, adding glue to each new turn. Glue it all over the entire bottom, fasten a handle to the basket, and put the skeins with knitting needles into it. So it turns out that Barbie is very into arts and crafts. It's great to have a favorite hobby. And now take a cap from a plastic bottle. Make a hole in the center with an awl. Insert a piece of thick wire into it. String colorful beads on the pin and put a silicone mold on top as a lampshade. A little sparkle never hurt anybody. They'll look great in the light of a light bulb. More light means more time for fun. Next, we'll tell you how to use an old plastic glasses case and a few sponges. Open the case and put a pair of sponges in each of its parts like this. Take a small microfiber towel and wrap the design with it. Hot glue the trim to the outer sides of the case. Gently bend the edges. Use four pebbles as the legs of the sofa and to add some weight. Glue them on four sides. A real queen needs a royal sofa. It's so soft and comfortable. And the best part is that it's my favorite color. For the next idea, take a cork and a box cutter. Carefully cut the cork into two parts. Wrap one of them with a piece of microfiber. Glue it and close up all the ends. Take a plastic drinking straw, cut it into four equal parts. Glue them on as legs. Let's make another stool. They'll always come in handy in the house. Especially when it fits so perfectly into the look of the room, and they are so comfy too! For the next life hack, you will need a pen. Unscrew its tip. Put a drop of hot glue on the tip and insert a push pin inside. Glue a bead on the other side. Decorate it with rhinestones. Take a piece of wire and bend it like this. Insert it into the hole in the bead. Your cocktail is ready! You can't just hang out with your friends and not have drinks! And now take several bags of multicolored light clay and a glass bottle of Coca-Cola. Remove the cap. Cover the bottom with brown clay. Add a yellow layer on top. Make a net from thin brown stripes. Decorate the dessert with colored beads. Let's make a cake stand from a toothpaste cap. It looks delicious! For the next craft, take a plastic bottle and cut off its bottom. Cover part of the cut with shiny colored paper. Glue the corners with bright tape. Glue a paper castle on one of the walls. Pour some decorative sand on the bottom. Add pebbles and shells. What is a seabed without seaweed? And don't forget water, of course! The aquarium is ready! It is so calming after a busy day. And now take a metal bracelet and bend it. Divide it into two halves using pliers. Now take a bouquet of artificial flowers. Fasten the flowers to one of the metal arcs, winding it with stems. Make shiny ears from foam paper to decorate the second arc. Glue them and mask the joints with a decorative metal braid. Try the decorations on! Barbie and her little sister look gorgeous! Do you like it? Did you enjoy our new crafts for Barbie? Which of them did you think was the most interesting? Subscribe to the channel to watch even more interesting videos! Give this video a like, click the bell, and tell your friends about us!